All right, John, so after watching my engine run on the dyno, I have a couple questions for you. All right, what you got? So the first one is, why do you just shut the engine off immediately? Because, you know, most of the time that's, you're not supposed to do that, so why do you guys do that? Yeah, well, everything on our dyno is a controlled environment, and so data is king here. So we have oil temperature sensor, we got water temperature sensor at the water neck, at the cooling tower back there, and we have a thousand gallons of cool water cooling this engine down. And so really, we're monitoring everything. So if temperature were to skyrocket, we would know that and we would go the proper procedure of turning the motor off. But normally, if everything's under normal circumstances, we can kill the motor and the oil temperature is going to stay. The oil temperature in the bearing, yeah, we're not going to be able to read that. But once we start the motor up, that oil temperature has traveled through the motor and cooled down rather quickly. I got you. So there was also a couple numbers that we were hoping to see higher, but Kurt kind of said that that just wasn't feasible with our location. So yeah. is that because you were in Lubbock? Is so here in Lubbock, Texas, we are on our plateau and we're losing 16% of the horsepower that you would normally see at sea level. And that goes with boosted applications as well. So you're going to be losing a little bit of boost up on this plateau than you would at sea level. So we're not going to see the results that you would want to see. But our, our numbers are corrected back to sea level. So we have a few different channels that we can look at to kind of predict what the horsepower will be at sea level. 